Georgia Weismas is painfully aware of how hard it is to find a place to call home. It's crazy to get anywhere. I know heaps of people who have lived out of their cars or are constantly trying to find somewhere to go. The latest rental data showing the whole of the Sunshine Coast as either entirely or severely unaffordable. It's very difficult. Um, I've got two lovely women living with me at the moment. Uh, they're both over 50. Both have been looking for some time. But it was around 650. Now the same property is $1,000 a week. The situation is dire on the Gold Coast too, and most of regional Queensland, where people are spending 30 to 60 per cent of their income on rent. It is a big concern because those in regional areas tend to have lower incomes. A flood of post-COVID migration and a lack of housing stock is partly to blame. And additionally, we are not seeing the supply of housing at the moment, you know, to meet the demand that exists. The index also shows renters in every capital city are in a worse position than before the pandemic. So what we're seeing is really a Hunger Games style scenario where people are competing for a really limited number of properties that are available. That's pushing up rents. And more are living rough, like Perth couple Tiffany and Andrew Jordan. The master bedroom, living area. Trapped in a vicious cycle. It really just crushes your soul and it makes you feel like you will never get back to where you were. After applying for dozens of rentals. In the end, they are ending up on the streets because they just can't pay the rent with the income that they've got. In Brisbane's Musgrave Park, a tent city just keeps growing. Council moves people on, but then others come. They're desperate and despairing because they have nowhere else to go. There are no easy answers. Lexi Hamilton-Smith, ABC News.